that's how you get past this one. That's how you get past it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I had to wait for Jones to leave. That's okay. I was like, oh, Lord, what am I going to do? Why the message just came in? I'm already here. Thank you so much for logging into our first PTO meeting. We are just going to give everybody one more minute to get signed in. Um, I don't want to lose anybody, and then we're going to get started, okay? So just give us one more minute to let uh, the last few people, if anyone, anybody else is joining, join in, and then we're going to get started promptly at 6.05. Started. Thank you everyone for joining our first virtual PTO meeting for the 2020-2021 school year. We are very, very excited to have everybody here. We had an executive PTO board meeting and we have some great things planned for this year. If anybody has any ideas on any events or fundraisers or virtual things that you've heard of that you would like to see our school participate in, please send us um a dojo message the pto has a dojo page i am on everybody's class dojo page i'm miss johnson for those of you who don't know the parent coordinator here at peninsula prep and i am going to turn our pt our first pto meeting over to our pto executive board Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Jenny Young. Um, I am the PTO president uh, for this year, um, well, starting this year. And um, we also have some other PTO members on, so I'm just gonna give them a moment to hop in and say hello as well. Hello everyone, I'm Crystal Payne Bello. I am the secretary. Uh-oh, I think we lost Ms. Taylor. There she is, uh, logging back in. <laughs> Hi, Ms. Taylor. Can you unmute, introduce yourself? I'm not sure if she heard me. Miss Taylor? I don't think so. So Miss Young, you want to pop in and then we'll give her a minute to introduce herself uh, at the end. Yes, yeah, sure, no problem. Okay. Um, so we are really excited for this school year. Um, this school year is going to be totally different than anything we've experienced before, but we're optimistic and, you know, we're rolling with the punches and we're going to make the best of the school year. Um, so I just wanted to go over some of our goals. Um, so firstly, our goal for this school year is to have as much fun as possible, as best as we can, to connect and support each other. Um, it can be a lot when we're juggling so many different things. I don't know if you guys hear my son in the background because, you know, they don't care about our lives and what we do. They just, they're just kids. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so just basically to connect. Also, we plan to have activities, fundraisers, and meetings, but in no way do we want to overwhelm anyone. So we're, we're planning to have just touch points and, and ways for us to connect and kind of um, unwind and decompress from all the different things that um, we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we would love for your feedback to make sure that um, each event is successful. And if um, any of the parents out there have any suggestions or can assist us, we are about teamwork. So, you know, just um, reach out to us via the class dojo. Miss um, Johnson is a great ass asset. Um, so you can always reach out to her in Class Dojo as well. Um, and then we will be posting on the Class Dojo to keep everyone updated on activities and meetings and so on. So just be sure to um, check the Class Dojo. And if for any reason you um, aren't able to see the information or you're not getting the notifications, Ms. Ty Jones is amazing. And she is our, um, we're, we're grateful to have a, a, a good support um, in her in that area. And then um, we had our first meeting today and we're so glad that everyone was able to attend. Um, but we want to kind of, we, we, well, 
we want to send out a um, survey to see what day and what time would best work for the majority of the parents. And then um, for future meetings, we are also planning to record them and post them because we understand that not everyone's work schedule or days look the same. So as best as we can, we want to make those meetings available so you can catch up on it and be in the know with um, different things as they come up. Um, in addition, um, the school has a website. Um, I'm sure many of you know about that. So um, you can also look for, you know, different information about things going on on there. Um, so basically we want feedback for the days for the PTO meetings and um, activities that you all are interested in participating in. And then um, fundraising ideas. Last year, like the second half of the year, we had a cool fundraiser that um, we had started participating in and then due to COVID that kind of got a halt. but if we can get like different ideas and a variety of fundraisers that could be a help because the fundraisers are to um, get money into the school so we can do fun things and connect and have resources available for ourselves and for each other um, and for us to be able to do like dances and outings and we, we had a um a movie night last school year and that was a lot of fun so we just want to be you know foster that community environment and just be able to connect um so those are some of the things that you know we wanted to let everyone know about um we do have some activities in the works and we're going to iron out the details for them and then we'll keep everyone posted about those um and um, I'm trying to think. That's pretty much all I got. Um, <laughs> as far as information and updates and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if there's any questions, um, there is a Q and A um, section. So if you have any, if anyone has any questions, you can put it in um, the, the chat, and um, Ms. Johnson will be helping us out with that. Yeah, we definitely. Um, when we had our uh, executive board. PTO board meeting, we did realize that we didn't, we don't want to overwhelm you. We know the kids are on Zoom all day right. um, during the week, and we are on Zoom sometimes for jobs or any other platform where it's just a lot going on in our lives. But we mm -hmm. do want to be able to support each other and build each other up. Um, so we were thinking we would have about just three events a month. One, the PTO meeting, a family virtual event, and what we wanted to start um, is a weekly coffee time, tea time, where I'll be logged on. Um, I'm thinking a, a good day to do this was Wednesdays. I know Monday sometimes you're still trying to get it together from over the weekend. So I just, yeah. Wednesday was like midpoint. If you had any questions, I'm going to log into my Zoom. I'm going to post that information up because next week will be our first coffee time, tea time where if you have any questions, if you want to network, anything, you're more than welcome to log into the Zoom and um, I'll be available to answer anything or to help with anything um, during those times. So that'll be Wednesday mornings, usually from eight to probably about 10. Good, I'm glad that you're excited. I was very nice. excited when we thought about it. <laughs> so I definitely- Yeah, I like that idea too. It's just something for us. Sometimes we just need a break and need a getaway. Um, I have mine here too. I'm I'm so glad you don't hear right now in the background. But <laughs> it's a lot sometimes and we get stressed and as parents and just human beings, we need a release. So that's what I'm that's what we'll be there for. Anybody who wants to join me, like I said, every Wednesday from about eight to ten, bring your coffee, I'll have mine, and it'll be a time for us to relax and just talk, have adult conversations sometimes, okay? So um, those were some of the things that we were thinking about. We didn't, like we said, we didn't want to overwhelm you, but if you have any ideas, if you have any um, events, if you know of someone that may want to um, bring their business out, <laughs> How about our own businesses? We as parents, we, a lot of you have mm -hmm. independent small businesses. This is a great platform yeah. to bring it to light, support each other, support our, you know, our own endeavors. So if you have that and you would like to present one month, reach out to us. Um, I did put a phone number in the chat for anybody. And if you ever need to email me, ljohnson at peninsulaprep.org, but that information is on our school webpage as well. Um, and I have a Google voice number for parents because not everybody is technologically savvy. 
because I can do what I need to do. But <laughs> if there's a problem, I'm not the person to call. So I like to have a phone number to somebody I could speak to. So that's what that number is for. Um, okay. If you have any issues and you can't get through to somebody on the computer, that number is there. It's, um, I will, matter of fact, I'll go on and post it at, on Class Dojo as well so that everybody will have it. I'll post my um, th my email and my uh, the Google Voice number. So if anybody has any questions, they can reach me there as well. Okay. Um, I can't. Oh, uh, it was it was. Some, oh, please. Please, please make sure to have your kids logged on every day from 7.45. Make sure that they're in uniform. Um, if there are any questions or yeah. anything about that, I know we are having a big, big deal with devices. We are doing our best. Um, I'm still trying to go to COE, but I don't know what their process is. And they have criteria that we need to meet in order for our charter school parents to get devices. But... We've been fighting this and fighting this since the end of the last school year. And Ms. Jones has wrote to the chancellor. She's, <laughs> she's emailed a whole ton of people. So we are working on it. And they always claim that now we're on this list. I still ain't seen the list because um, they still denying my parents. <laughs> so, you know, I, it's very, very upsetting. But please know that we are working behind the scenes to try to make sure that everybody has what they need to have a successful school year. Um, I have a question here about uh, when school is going to start in the school building. So if you did, oh, one more thing I did want to mention before I answer your question. Um, we were, I was at the building today giving out books and books do need to be picked up for all great from grades K through five. There is a new math program that we're using called Envision. So some of you do have Go Math math books, and that's fine. Keep them because some of your classes may be using it as a resource. You can use it as an extra resource. We're not taking the books back. So keep them and use them. But the Envision book that was picked up today and is available for pickup tomorrow is the new math program. So please, please, if you don't have, um, if you can't make it to the school, please just send someone to get it between the hours of nine and one because that's going to be our new math program. So I definitely want everyone to make sure they have that. Um, the question that I got in the chat was, when will school be opening back up in the school building? I was going to say, if you were there today, you saw there's a lot of scaffolding in the back part of the parking lot and, well, all over the school building, because they are working on our roof, which is one of the reasons that we are not in the building as of now as well. Um, so they're supposed to be finished. Uh, around October 15th, October 19th, that time. But um, so that's when we're expected back in the building. As soon as we get the information, things change, you know, we definitely will let you know. That's why we want to make sure everybody is um, hooked up to Class Dojo for all messages because that is our lifeline. So Class Dojo, if you're not connected or you need help getting connected, that's when the message will come out to me. I'll refer you to Ms. Ty Jones or Mr. Paduano and um, make sure that you set up. Uh, so the, the answer is around October 15th, October 19th is when we should be back in the building. Um, is tomorrow half day? No, it's not. Sorry, I feel like it may say that on the calendar, but let me double check. Ms. Jones, we did not, it we're not gonna did, have Yeah, it was originally on the calendar. Originally, it was scheduled for a half day, and then Principal Jones changed her mind at the last minute. She wanted the parents to have a full week of um, school, so there's no half day tomorrow. Okay, so sorry guys, no half day tomorrow. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Ms. Cuffey, for my net. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and if you are in the area, please come by the school and pick up some food. We got hot food, and that food will go to waste if we don't, if the parents don't come pick it up. Go in there and tell them you got three, four kids. It's okay. <laughs> Get it. Bring it home. Give it to your neighbor if you can't use it. But it breaks my heart to know that all that food, if we don't use it and our families don't pick it up, will go to waste. So if you know, if, if, if you have a neighbor, just tell them to come and say, oh yeah, I got two kids too. I just rather it go to someone than for it to go into the trash. Right. So if you're in the area, yeah. you can stop by the building between the hours of, I want to say, I think it's 
10 and 1. Let me just double check the hours for. Yes, uh, it's 10 to 1. 10 to 1, okay. 10 to 1 in the cafeteria. Miss E is a sweetheart. She will give you anything you need. She'll yeah. be pushing the food off for you. So please, we have milk available. So if you have any, anything that you, um, if you have time to go, please go. There is a questionnaire in the chat. If you could take a moment to complete it, it's about the um, time and hours for the PTO meeting, which time works best for you guys. So if everybody can take a minute, you could go by the chat and fill that out. The cafeteria, we have to get the cafeteria is inside the building downstairs. It's downstairs uh, in the building. The door is usually open from the parking lot where you can just go right downstairs, but it's so much scaffolding back there. Please mm -hmm. be careful. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Um, so if you're in the area, please definitely, definitely do stop by. Um, are there any other questions? Are you taking the time out to fill out that survey? It'd be awesome. How's the first week of school going for you guys? Oh, okay. Um, Ms. Jones, someone said the chat was disabled. Um. I'll double check. It should not be, but hold on. Let me double check. Okay. Thank you so much, Miss Cameron. We're looking into that. Oh, you can see it. Can you type in the survey? Someone told me they can see it, but can you type into it? You can't. Okay. So Miss Jones is working on that. She's awesome. If it's not going to be in the chat, if we finish up the meeting before you do it, we'll definitely post it on Class Dojo. Okay, so no worries if you don't get to complete it um, now. It'll be on Class Dojo where you can complete. You can't open it. Okay, she's. Uh, um, I think she I sent the second link. Afterwards. Okay, she sent another link. Can you guys try that one and see if you can get in and let me know before we leave or before there are any more questions? So if you are just joining, go into the chat and click on that second link, and that will be the survey about which day and time works better for you for PTO meetings. Uh, it's, working. it's working. I'm starting to get responses now. Oh, nice. Sure. It is working. Use the second one. If you can't get it, yes, absolutely, Ms. Hanson, we will post it on Class Dojo. Right after the meeting, we'll post that. I'll post the school Google number, and I um, will post my email address. So if you have any questions. And the PTO has a, a page on Class Dojo that everybody's connected to. Please, if you want your information, post it. Like if you have a business card, community information, you know, I'm glad to post that up there. Send it to me. I can get it out to you. Um, I try to answer back the comments under the, if you send me a private message, it comes directly to me. A lot of times the posts in the comments, I try to answer them as fast as possible underneath the post, but sometimes the it'll get away from me. It doesn't hit to my phone right away, so it'll take some time. So if you send me a direct message, that's always, always the best way to reach me about anything. There is a, someone asked um, what survey. There's a survey in the chat, the second link, and the survey is to um, find out which date and time works best for you for the PTO meeting. Ms. Young, I'm sorry. I feel like I've taken over. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> no problem at all. <laughs> um. Yeah, so we're just, we just want to make this um, an experience that is as collaborative, you know, for everyone involved. So just to piggyback off of what Ms. Johnston said, like, there are a lot of talents, gifts, and abilities in this group of families. So um, for different activities, if you, you know, if you have a skill that you want to share, we will be more than happy to collaborate and, you know, we can do different things. I mean, Zoom is currently our mode of communication so and we can get a lot of people to participate in things from the comfort of their zone so we kind of comfort of their home so it kind of um works out 
even though we can't be in person, we can still stay in touch. And here's my little human right here, being nosy. All right. Um, I want to <laughs> tell people, like, tell your neighbors, if you have a, a somebody that you know that attends our school and they are not on here because we have over 300 students. And I'm just yeah. going to say this. There are 40 people in this meeting right now, and the four, um, the, that's including the four of us. Yeah. So, out of 300 students and everybody at home, I know some people are working. Please, I'm not taking away from that. But just yeah. anything, anything to let me know that you're here, exactly. like, to show your support. We want to show them so that the DOE doesn't, like, oh, well, y'all don't have any participation anyway, so why should we worry about getting your families this? They don't come. They don't take take part in anything that you're having right not involved we don't want them to say that no we're going to say well i can show you my zoom pto me and it'll show you that i had over 300 participants mm -hmm. that's only one person on each family. and that's why we did it in webinar mode instead of in our regular zoom where we can see everyone because yeah. we don't want to give anybody an opportunity to be left out this zoom will right. hold over 500 people and i have 40 i'm just saying yeah and with the, with the with the meetings as well to like definitely piggyback like you don't have to have your camera on just as long as you're listening in and just like going about doing whatever it is that you need to do because sometimes you won't be able to have the camera on be sitting be you know totally available but if you're listening in at least so that you can be aware because the, the truth of the matter is we do have a quality school like even with everything going on you know, we've been able to start school. We got books. There's public schools are not doing this right now. Like next week, they're starting school and there's still some schools that's figuring stuff out. So we have, and I'm, you know, we're preaching to the choir because you guys joined, but, you know, try to encourage your, your family, friends, and people that are missing to just at least listen in so that we can, um, like Ms. Johnson said, like be able to show and prove that we, there's a need here and you know, if we can show in numbers, then we can get even more than what we have now for the kids. Because it is about them, you know, like we want them to have quality education, um, devices they can, you know, use for school and technology is the wave, you know. So in order to get those things, we unfortunately have to prove to the Board of Education because charter schools are not always their favorite, you know, form of education. And that's the reality of it. So, um, if you could just tell a friend, like, girl, just listen in for like 10 minutes, then I'm going to keep you long. And, you know, we can grow our numbers, which is we want to all be able to, you know, be a team. Um, we did get a, 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 a comment, I can say. I'm thinking it came over with the surveys about pickup times um, being after remote learning. So let me explain. We're not supposed to be in that building. Uh, especially with all the work that's going on. And if we're there, we're supposed to be out by a certain time. I want to tell you it may be 2 o'clock. I'm not 100% sure. So we're not trying to play hardball. We're not trying to make things hard at all. We're trying to get in so nobody says anything to us and get back out before they make a big deal about us even being in the building. With that work being done, that's why, like we said, school is not in session. So... I know it's very hard. I know it's difficult, but these are the times we have allotted. We tried to make sure everything would be in even prior to school starting. But as you know, we have no control over mail. We don't have no control over packages. They had lost the books at one time. They were down in Springfield Garden somewhere. Teachers was like, please, just tell us where it is. We'll go pick up the boxes just wow. so they can have them and be ready on time. Hold on, I'm sorry. My kids are banging blocks. <laughs> See, they don't care about what we have to do, what we have to say. Not at all. <laughs> so, um, we're not trying to make it hard. I, of course, I mean, I had to leave my kid here. I don't even know what happened on remote learning today. And I'm a little nervous to find out about what happens tomorrow because I had to be at school to make sure that you had the book. So we all are sacrificing. We have kids at home too. And it's not easy. That's why I try to give you so some advanced notice so that you can make preparations. Um, I'm 
we are really, really trying to do the best we can and work out something so that everybody can get what they need to have a successful year. So I know it would be easier, but we are on restricted times as well. So that's why we made the times the way they were for pickup. Yeah, I had to do a mad dash during lunch. So <laughs> I totally get it as well. Um, well, it's, you know, one minute to 6.30. And if there are no other questions, um, I actually have one person that just wanted to, if we could just recap okay. really quick about what we had planned for the year. Um, someone had, who had just logged in. So um, if you can just okay. go through that one more time before we go off. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, basically for this school year, we would like to um, do the best that we can to connect and support each other. Miss um, Johnson is, um, so graciously going to be helping hosting a coffee time, tea time in the mornings for parents to, to kid free time to just unwind, chat a little, and um, just as many people that want to participate, come on down and join us. Have a little coffee, a little donuts, whatever you like. Um, and also we're planning on doing um, some activities. We're not trying to, to, you know, harass you guys and do too much. So we'll have um, some family activities um, that we, we have um, lined up and also the PTO meeting just so that we can be in one accord and catch up and kind of like brainstorm ideas. And then also, um, like I said before, the tea time. A survey was added to the chat and we'll be in class dojo for the best times for the PTO meeting so that it's not um, too late, but as it, it is at a time where people can participate and we can you know, come together and share ideas. And then um, we're gonna be posting the meetings as well in class dojos for those people that aren't able to make the meetings. Um, we want to have just a great school year with everything going on, it, it it can be easy to be like down and discouraged, but you know what? We're resilient. We're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna roll with the punches and we're gonna have a great school year. You know, that's just what we're gonna do. We're gonna put that effort in and show up every day. Um, and that's basically it. And if you have any questions or ideas, concerns, any people that have businesses, um, you can reach out to us in Class Dojo. Um, we're more than welcome to, you know, collaborate come together and see you know we can host events there's there's a lot of activities we can do virtually um it may not be in person but this is what we have um you know to work with and we can we can still make it an enjoyable time yes we do have a couple more questions in the chat um the school schedule is, are you i'm not sure if you mean like the class schedule or you want the school calendar uh is that what you're asking for if so just let me know um miss jones is that good is that posted on our facebook or is it the calendar okay um is the count cal the calendar should be on our web page the calendar is not posted yet it needs the official approval oh okay, okay. It's tentative the second that it is approved it will be posted um i would look for it probably at the end of the week because i spoke to principal jones so by the end of the week, it should be posted. It just needs its final approval. Okay, so that's the answer about the school calendar. But you do have the monthly one that was posted on um, the school the school class dojo page. So right now we're moving month to month as we get the approval. Like she said, the school calendar will be posted. Um, I have a question about devices. We are trying to get devices. We ordered devices. We're waiting for them to come. We have no idea when they will show up in the building we wish we had a better game plan but everything was back ordered chromebooks everything for everywhere um so we're just waiting so we are looking to get devices um <laughs> the 10 mandatory hours they are gonna still be required i don't know i gotta figure that out <laughs> <laughs> um, but of course, <laughs> she had to yes, we need help. all the help we can. <laughs> right now, we don't have we don't need any help in the building. But when things open back up, I can't imagine some of the things we may need help with. But we also have to remember that with this COVID, I I really can't tell you we're not supposed to have anybody that doesn't work in the building and the kids in the building. So it's like. Mm -hmm the volunteer time how about let's let's work on getting people logged in 
Let's get the yeah. lost. Tell, tell me you brought a friend. Let's get you two hours yeah. for that. I'll, I'll give you that two hour time. That's <laughs> if everybody, one person can bring two other classes. And when you logged into Zoom, tell them. Talk to your parents. Hey, where's your parents? Tell them, make sure to come to the PTO meeting. I need those two hours of time. You and them will get the two hours. How about that? Some type of incentive you that you logged in. So I'm willing to go for it. How does that sound? Yeah. So, sounds um, good to me. Yeah, sounds good to me. Um, <laughs> let me see if there are any others. So I, I answered that. You see, this is what my kid does to me while I'm in the meeting. He's poking things across the screen in my ear. <laughs> so that's what happens here at my home. Um, if there are no other questions, I'm not sure if anyone else, but um, it's not going to be tomorrow because I know tomorrow we have a lot of other schools are starting their first virtual um, first days for the DOE. So our first tea time coffee break will be for that next Wednesday. And don't worry, I'm going to post it so you remember because I don't want to be sitting in that Zoom room all by myself. So, I'm going to be there. I'm going to okay, be there. That's right. We're going to be here together. Anybody <laughs> who's ready. <laughs> so I'm going to date for that, uh, for that first one. I'm definitely posted. I'm excited and I'm looking forward. So you see what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to it. And I already they never, had a they never need conversation. You doing something. I had a pre-conversation. Listen, you know, mommy about to have a PTO meeting. I need you to stay in the room so I don't hear you. Right out the window. Mm -hmm. All in here. But um, if you have any, any ideas, like I said, uh, Miss Young is she she is uh, I had two more questions come in. Is Miss Young on Dojo? She is the she is on Dojo on the PTO page. She has access to read all messages and respond to everything on there. So the PTA the PTO page. Um, <laughs> I know put them on Roblox. Roblox is the thing. Or I'm oh you, my goodness, my, they love. Mm. It gets worse when they on Roblox. The noise level in my house, it goes, it intensifies like to the 10th degree. I'm like, I'm about to take that tablet and y'all going to bed because <laughs> it's like people, oh my God, you killed me. I, no, I can't do it. It's like <laughs> too much. <laughs> so I know. <laughs> Somebody else said they hate Roblox. And I'm telling you, it's so much. They get too involved. I can't, I don't even know what's happening right That's now. That's second only to Ryan Star Review. Yeah, I so, had it up there with that little Ryan. Um, so if there aren't any more, please, if you have any other questions, Mommy, I'm, I that's awesome, son. Mommy. Give me a second. I see a hi. Um, I would like to, okay. to interact more when a child is distracted. Um, um, at your bed. Come on, Madison. I could have more of an idea of what other type of interaction i'm i'm not sure send me a message to dojo please um send me a message to dojo about what's happening in that zoom i can check it out or speak to the coach involved and see if i can help get that situated okay so miss johnson i'm on every class's zoom page so please make sure, reach out to me about the um, distractions and want the teachers to interact with me. Because my teacher and Nasir, please stop. And put that back over there. My teacher and Zoom, they get up, they do dances, they're singing. So yeah. well, they try their best to keep them involved. So please reach out to me if there are any issues like that. That's definitely what I'm here for so that we can get that fixed. So if there's nothing else, I don't know, Miss Young, Miss Bello. It yeah, Miss so Bello, did you? We so I saw you unmuted. You want to share anything? You want to say hi? No, I I was <laughs> harassed. <laughs> These over here, see? Yeah. See? I saw Matt. Yep. Even <laughs> some of our graduates that are no longer PPA okay. scholars, but we love them still. <laughs> Holding time. So. Me, yeah, no, I, I don't have anything to add. I, I back everything that was said. I'll see you at the coffee chat, and yeah. <laughs> that's it. Awesome. Okay, so I guess we uh, bid everyone good night.
please remember to check on Class Dojo. We are going to post the um, phone number, the chat, um, the form, and um, my email. And any questions from Ms. Young or everything, you can reach her on the PTO Dojo page. Yes. No problem. So good night, everyone. Have an awesome night. Please stay safe, all my essential workers and just all my PTA families. Please be safe out here. There's so much going on. I've been hearing yeah. things over the weekend in the last few days. Um, just please be safe. If there's anything I can help you with, please be free to reach out. Okay. Yes, Have a great. good night, everyone. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking the time to join yeah. us tonight. And we really appreciate you all. And we'll see you next time. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.